Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learn From Ideas. Here is the another session, session 2, promoting the 2019 as a domain controller. I would like to welcome all of you to join this session. In this session, we will learn about the types of the domain controllers and how to promote the server 2019 for the domain controller. I hope it will be the very interesting session, so please stay with me and watch the video till end. In this session, we will cover up the below topics. What is the domain controller? What is the GC, I mean the global catalog server? What is the forest type of the domain controller and its uses? What is the active directory? That is the more important part of this session. And installing the role of the active directory domain services, ADDS. And promoting the system as a DC domain controller. Sorry guys for the spelling mistake. It's a typing mistake promoting system as a DC. Next slide is DC. So what is actually the DC domain controller? What is the domain controller? Actually domain controller is a centralized server system. It is a centralized controller we can say that control all services centralized in a forest. We will discuss about the forest in the next slide. It keeps the domain accounts groups and manage the group policy. So this domain control control all the things in the forest keep the records of the accounts users and groups and manage the group policies account policies each and everything by the centralized domain controller the second most important thing is the gc global catalog server so the global catalog server or we can say the service that runs on the dc domain controller provide the login services to the client in the forest so just suppose there is there is a use uh, there is an user in the forest on the dc domain controller and want to log in in the forest so gc global catalog system or global catalog service will provide the login services to the client if the system is not a global catalog then the user will not be able to log in in the forest so gc is the most important thing in the forest next slide is okay so forest Forest, what is actually the forest? Forest is the group of the domain controller environment. So forest is an environment where where can be the multiple domain and at least one domain controller in 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 that environment, right? So so forest, so we can say the multiple domains creates a forest, right? So that environment known as the forest where at least one domain controller or maybe multiple domain controllers, right? So now, now we will discuss about the type of the domain controller in the forest. How many type of the domain controller can be in a forest? So below are the type of the domain controllers. One, the PDC, parent domain controller, ADC, additional domain controller, CDC, child domain controller, and RODC, read-only domain controller. So these four types of the domain controller can be in a forest. So one by one, we will discuss about the all the domain controllers, right? next slide so first the pdc parent domain controller it is the parent domain and first domain controller in the forest that create we can say that create the forest itself right all the primary users groups and the services stores on the parent domain controller this domain controller actually handle all the things in the forest right even the login service is also provided by this particular domain controller first Okay, so this is the main domain control. Rest of the domain control will be the part of this particular domain control PDC. If you want to create the forest, first you have to install or create a PDC. Okay, I think it's clear. So the next domain controller is the ADC. ADC is the additional domain controllers. Right? About the name, you can you can you can understand ADC additional. It is the actually additional domain controller in the existing forest. So it is the additional domain controller in the existing forest. All the active directory data like users, account, group, organization, unit, transfer or replicate from the parent domain controller to additional domain controller. So it is actually provide the fault tolerance. If the PDC is down, then ADC will take care of the charge of PDC. 
okay and in the absence of the pdc the adc will provide the login services and the all the services to the clients so it is actually provide the the backup if you can say the backup server it is the backup server right it keeps the all the data that exist on the pdc so the data will replicate from the parent domain controller to additional domain controller one most important thing we have to understand and we should understand here the pdc and adc supports the two uh, two way replication right the data from the pdc will replicate to the adc understand like this just suppose we create an user on the pdc so this user will be replicated from pdc to adc if we create an user on the adc so it will also uh, replicate to the pdc so it's the two two way replication we can say it's the two way replication yeah so adc is the replica or the copy of the pdc we can say no problem right so all the active directory data will be replicated from pdc to adc so it is it provide the fault tolerance it is the backup server of the pdc right i hope it's clear next slide yeah cdc child domain controller is the new domain yeah it is actually the new domain controller in the existing forest the forest will be ex uh, exist exist that that is i mean the old forest right there is there may be the pdc there may be the adc but we want the more computer or more servers in the same environment so we have to create the cdc just suppose the pdc is providing service one right and and that system is not enough for the another services so we can create the another server we have to create the another server for the different different kinds of the services so we can create the cdc at this stage the, for example we want to install the wds right we want to configure the wds server in the uh, in in the existing forest or so we can create the cdc and on that particular cdc we can deploy the uh, deploy uh, wds service on that so that particular system will provide the services in the existing forest so if there are there are many kinds of the services here right so and we all the services we can't install on a single computer it's in the single pdc so definitely we will needing you know the multiple domain controllers right so that domain controller will be the cdc so we can create the multiple domain controller or more than one domain controller penalty of domain controllers in the existing forest that will be the cdc right i think it's clear if you have the any doubt please please comment me in the comment section definitely i will try to solve your question and give you answer guys so the another domain controller is the rodc right read only domain controller yes it is the read only i mean the data will be replicate from pdc to rodc but not from the rodc to pdc because of it is read only you will not be able to make any change in this environment or on this particular domain controller it's provide the same services like the additional domain controller but the difference between the adc and rodc is the replication uh, from the adc to pdc and pdc to adc is two way but the replication between the pdc to rodc is only one way the data will be replicated from the pdc to rodc not rodc to pdc right so it's also provide the backup server but 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 it's it's the you know the read only domain controller you will not be able to make any change in this particular uh, domain right i hope it's clear okay so the most important thing is <laughs> active directory domain services that is the, that is the next slide so if you want to make uh, the domain controller or server so you have to install the adds role on that particular computer and then you have to promote that computer as the domain controller so adds is the most important this is the group of services we can say and this is also the core part of the domain controller that manage all the things like the active directory user account domain user accounts group organization units group policy etc for each and everything you know uh, you, you know the managed by the active directory domain services right so we will definitely discuss about the active directory domain services in the in this particular course in the in the next sessions 
right and uh, we will understand the active directory user in computers and uh, what is the organization unit what is the group what is the group policy each and everything we will discuss right so no worry at this point and at this time right okay so next in the next slide i i, I will uh, explain this particular image right so here you can see you know the what uh, system server pdc so the name of the computer is pdc this is the host name of this computer contoso.com this is the domain name of this computer and the full name is known as pdc dot contoso.com this is the ftdn fully qualified domain name the next slide i will try to discuss this what is the what is the PDC, what is the actually uh, FQDN, what is the DN, DNS, what, what, what is the uh, parent name, what is the host name, what is the FQDN, what is the NetBIOS name, root level domain we will discuss in the next slide, right. So the name of the computer is, uh, you know, uh, uh, P PDC. So the name will be the, uh, complete name will be the pdc.contoso.com. So contoso.com is the domain name, right. And here is the another computer, server ADC adc.contoso.com so adc is just the name of this computer when we uh, at the time of the installation of uh, the computer we give the name of the adc right so the replication you know you can see the replication between these computers this is the two way replication uh, these arrow can show you know the two way replication if just suppose th there are there are some users john rake and mark on the pdc so these users will be replicated to the uh, ADC John Rick Mark and if we create the another uh, user here on the ADC, ADC so this will this will this user will be replicated from ADC to PDC so this is this this is actually the two-way replication so these uh, you know the running arrows showing the two-way replications right okay so another computer is you know the CDC here the uh, in the existing forest so this is actually we, this is the we, we are creating the new domain in existing forest it's the new domain is the existing forest this is the additional domain in existing forest adc is the additional domain in a, a, a uh, existing forest and we can say uh, we are adding the uh, uh, additional domain we are adding a domain in the existing forest and this is the creating a new domain in the existing forest these are two terms adding the domain controller in existing forest and adding uh, and, and, and cdc is not adding we are creating the new domain in existing forest the forest will be exist right For forest will be exist right so this is the cdc uh, same cdc.contoso.com fqdn is the cdc.contoso.com contoso.com is the domain name so domain name or forest name will be same contoso.com right so this is the uh, uh, this is for the additional services okay Another thing is the RODC read only domain controllers. If we create the John Rick mark, the same data will be replicated to the RODC read only domain controller. But guys, this is the one way replication. You can see this, uh, this arrow is showing the one way replication. This is not a two way replication, right? So data will not be replicated from RODC and you will not be able to make any change on the RODC, right? So I, and these are some clients, those are connected through these servers and accessing the services right i hope this is clear if you have the, any doubt please leave the comment in the comment section i will try to give answer right okay guys so now we are going to promoting this computer to windows server 2019 as a uh, as a domain controller so what do you have to do first you have to install the role add roles and features right so before adding the role uh, we have to you know we have to configure the ip address manually keep in mind it's most important thing if you are going to make a computer uh, server so so that computer must have the manual ip address okay so i am configuring the ip address so write it down the command ncpa.cpl hit enter okay so the ethernet just right click move properties select ip version 4 properties use the following ip and i'm adding i'm entering the ip address here 10.0.0.1 uh, okay 
you can uh, give any address yeah okay done so now just click on the add roles and feature okay so before you begin you know next role based feature based installation definitely next okay it's showing the, your computer is server and the name of the IP address is uh, 192.168.1.14 uh, actually we, we we have given the you know the 10.0.0.1 uh, after some time it will be update because of it was from the you know DSCP servers but the issue let me let okay so previous again next so showing the same IP address we have to check what is wh what is the issue cmd ip config yeah it's the same ip address but i don't know why it's showing okay after from time it will update no issue just click next to continue and uh, active directory domain services add feature adds we have to install to promoting this computer as a domain next okay guys so just click next to continue next next okay so all the things we have done is asking for the confirmation yes install one more thing always uh, restart your computer when the computer asks we did not check mark uh, check mark in the options to restart so we will start manually right so we will restart the computer manually it will take some time okay guys it's done so just close and uh, you know guys you have to restart the computer right so I'm restarting my host okay guys so it's done my computer has restarted uh, you can see the exclamation signs the notification after installing the role of the active directory adds you can see this notification so post deployment configuration right so conf what is the next required promote this server to a domain controller right before promoting this i want to show one thing you can see some things are ad added here active directory domain interest active directory administration center active directory site and services and active directory user and computer if i click on this right so what will happen see oops active directory domain see, to manage users and group this computer use local user and group why because of we have just installed the role not the active directory right we have not promoted this computer as the domain controller once we have promoted this you will be able to manage the active directory users or domain users guys okay so now we are promoting this computer as a domain so click here promote this server to a domain controller now you have to follow some steps here add a domain controller to existing domain no there is no existing for rest available or existing domain right so add a domain in a new forest we are create we are going to create a forest first right so give the root label name here contoso.com it's the root domain name next okay 
you want to make this computer as a global catalog server definitely you can see here this is actually by default check mark and we are not able to uncheck this because of the first domain controller must be the global catalogs that i said before right domain name system dns server definitely i want to create this computer as a domain and this is actually the forest function label what forest function label you are uh, you wish to select so uh, there are many 2008 2012 and 2006 this is the most recent uh, function label uh, forest function label so i am selecting here to if 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 you have the 2012 and 2008 in your environment then uh, you can select these for the functionality and for the compatibility but there is nothing so i am going with the server 2016 right okay uh, see directory services dsrm yani ke directory services restore mode password this is not actually the, uh, the 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 new password for the computer no we have already given the password to a computer this password is for the active directory only so this password will expose on the computer as of now and if you will be deep remote the computer you have to give the same password okay so this is not a new password this is the DS, dsrm right next create the dns de delegation automatically it will do this next it will uh, it will it will uh, check the what is the netbios name and automatically it will be suggest the netbios name so yeah it's c contoso is the netbios name next now you have to select the path okay for the database so database folder uh, by default it's a c windows and tds you you can you can uh, make the change here but i don't want to make any change for the log folder and tds and the system volume folder is false so i am going with the uh, default uh, configuration and default options next review what we what you, you what we have done here right so all the things we have uh, uh, done properly so just click next to continue guys is checking prerequisite oh, once all good then it will allow you to install the ADDS so all good okay all this checks pass successfully click install to begin the installation right click next to continue now it will take some time to install the active directory or promote this computer as a domain controller then the computer will restart automatically and uh, after that uh, you will be able to manage the services here right now uh, guys it will take some time to up don't worry don't think the system is performing slow it's the natural things because of many things are installed on your computer or this computer is uh, uh, the domain controller so don't think it will be work like the workstation and so fast so all done system is restarted this line you can see this line it's you know the collecting the information this is this running line if you can see so it's collecting the information once it's done then then we will access the you know active directory okay so all done you can see adds dns all the things are done tools active directory user and computer see now it's open okay and you can create the users here accounts here right you can see always give the alphanumerical password else it will deny you 
okay so guys we have uh, successfully promoted this computer as a domain controller and uh, i hope you will enjoy this video so see you in the next session and uh, please share my uh, videos and subscribe my channel if you still not so you will get the notification for the new videos and uh, share the videos with the needy peoples thank you guys